Hey guys, I'm back with another tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create this new Mopism text animation in After Effects. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, I'm gonna start with a new composition. And I will call this new Mopism text animation. Let's go with full HD resolution and 24 frames per second. And I will go with the 8 second duration and I'm gonna hit OK. Now we need to add our text. So I'm gonna go to toolbar and select this type to and let's type whatever you like i'm gonna type new mobism i will make it all caps okay and i will go with helvetica font you guys can go with any font you like uh, i will select this text and press ctrl alt home so it will reset the anchor point now i'm gonna go to align tool and if you don't see align tool you can go windows and find this align tool here and i will just center it just like that now this is our placeholder not only uh, text you guys can place whatever you like example like uh, your logo okay so make sure uh, your logo is white just like this and then i'm gonna pre-compose this so i'm gonna select this and right click pre-compose and i will rename this as a placeholder so this will work as placeholder and i will select this move all attributes into a new composition option and i'm gonna hit ok now we have this separated placeholder so i'm gonna go to new comp text animation composition this one and here we will build our effect first up i have this color palette you guys can download this from the link in the description so after you download just import it and i'm gonna drag and drop here okay and i'm gonna drag it here and now we need to add a background so i'm gonna right click new and create a solid and this one will be our background so i'm gonna call this pg for background and i will pick this uh, light pink color later of this tutorial i will show you how to change the color okay and i will keep this color as the background and i'm gonna hit okay drag this pg layer down so it in the bottom and now i'm gonna apply color to the text so i'm gonna select this placeholder and i will go to effect and preset you can find this effect and preset in the window menu okay and i'm gonna search for fill fill effect and make sure you select this layer and then just double click it will apply and for the text i'm gonna pick with this color to exact same background color this one now i'm gonna add drop shadow effect so i'm gonna go to effect and preset and search for drop shadow and let's double click okay this will apply drop shadow as you can see this way we have this nice background shadow but we need white color so i'm gonna pick with this white color and then i'm gonna increase the distance ever so slightly like that we can also change the direction so i will rotate it around 240 just like that okay so the white color will be in the our left side and i will also give little bit softness just like that no need uh, too much i think maybe 13 will work okay and this should work now i'm gonna duplicate this layer so i'm gonna select this press ctrl d to duplicate this i will go to this bottom layer okay now i'm gonna go to effect control panel and here we have this drop shadow let's pick with different color for this one i will choose this dark pink color like that now i will switch the direction to the right side just like that this will give us this nice pneumopism effect and if you think that uh, effect is a little bit too much you can just reduce the opacity okay and also you can just play with the distance i will keep it like that i will go to white shadow layer and i will also reduce the distance little bit i think it's too much and yeah i think this should work okay now effect is really good but we can make it better i'm gonna select this bottom layer okay and i'm gonna press ctrl d to duplicate this this will increase the contrast just like that now i will put this in the Top. for this layer i'm gonna uh, apply cc plastic effect so i'm gonna go to effect and preset and search for cc plastic and let's double click as you can see this will add really nice plastic look you guys can just play with the softness uh, and height but i think default are really good 
only thing we can change this here reduce the opacity of the effect or reduce the opacity of the effect we need to go to effect and then go to cc plastic here we can see this composition option and i'm gonna open this up and here we have this effect opacity we can just reduce the percentage just like that we don't need too much i think yeah i will keep a uh, 60 percent i will keep the 60 percent and this should work now we almost there we need to add little bit animation to add the animation we can go to placeholder composition so i'm gonna uh, hide this palette we don't need this anymore so i'm gonna just uncheck like that so it will remove let's go to placeholder composition you can just double click any of these layers let's animate the text so to add the animation and we can just add uh, opacity animation so i'm gonna select the text and press t to open the opacity and i will create a keyframe for the zero second and let's go to two second mark and i will just create another keyframe let's go back to this uh, press keyframe and i will set the value to zero and let's see we have this nice uh, slide just like that we can go to uh, main composition and see the animation as you can see just little bit slide or you can just uh, add uh, animate option so if you go to here and i will just disable the opacity and we can add uh, animate option and here i'm gonna add uh, opacity and let's set the opacity to zero and i'm gonna go to one second and first animate the rain selector i will create a keyframe for the rain selector in the zero second and let's create a keyframe for the start option and i'm gonna go to two second and i will set back this to 100 and let's see now we have this simple slide you guys can just type whatever text you like okay and i'm gonna press ctrl alt o and i will align it so we have this nice slider and if you go to main composition as you can see it updated you can go to placeholder composition and press play with the position of the grip and spacing so it will have a speed revealing like that we can also add a scale so i'm gonna select this layer and press s and let's create a keyframe and i'm gonna go to a 1 and 12 frame forward and let's make it a little bit like that using this scale value so i'm gonna press spacebar as you can see it's just a simple uh, reveal so i'm gonna select this keyframe and press f9 let's see okay looks cool and let's go to main composition and let's check the animation as you can see this effect really worked nicely with the animation and we can also change the color if you guys want just create an, an adjustment layer right click new adjustment layer and i'm gonna call this cc and let's select this and go to effect and preset here you can find hue and saturation here we have this effect so i'm gonna double click here we can just uh, play with the master hue as you can see when we change the rotation we can get different colors like that you guys can just play with this one you can also play with the master saturation saturation and lightness just like that you guys can just play with these settings okay and i think this bluish one is really looking pretty good and as you can see this is not that hard to create and i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial if you have a question let me know and thank you so much for the patreon supporters and i will see you guys in the next one have a great day